going on guys um so i just dropped off the head and the crank at the machine shop they're going to do some work on that head therefore that means we're going to be doing the f23 and still pick up an f20 later and build that on the side um we're going to do some work on the head i'm going to take i was dropping off the crank here but they said they have someone else that can do some other stuff to it that i want to do like i want to get a knife edged and everything so we're going to take the crank i'm going to call him talk to him see if he has time for it, how much he charged to do it if it's in my budget we'll take it to him to do it if not We'll leave the crank alone but they're gonna take those studs out they're gonna deck it the head and i'm ordering some oversized valves and they're gonna put those in it too so right now we're gonna head up to the shop and get to work on some other stuff what's going on everybody we're back at the shop i haven't introduced the video yet welcome to another video of car dude garage today we're gonna to be tearing apart the f23 we're gonna put this engine back together figure out what's wrong with it and we're gonna make 400 horsepower or more in the Accord. We're still gonna pick up an F20, like I said, and we're gonna put build that engine on the side, but I wanna see the potential of the, of the F23. We already have a built bottom end in this. Why not just take it apart? I wanna pull the transmission off, and I wanna pull the head off, and stuff here, so we can clean it up nice. I wanna throw new gaskets in it, um, just reseal it. I wanna do front seal, cam seals, uh, probably the clutch if it needs it, rear main seal, just whatever needs to be done we're going to address to this and we're going to shoot for 400 horsepower so we'll put you guys on a tripod and we'll start tearing this apart i'm going to start off by pulling probably this valve cover off completely and then take the turbo manifold off pull the transmission off pull the head off and we'll go from there all right so we've got the valve cover off i'm gonna go ahead and pull the starter out and then we'll take the transmission off. All right guys, so you got a 14 up here and a 14 down here, which seems to be loose already. <laughs> ah, I think that actually this one's a 17 down here. But this one's already loose. I didn't loosen it, I promise. But there's a 14 on here, I didn't loosen this. Uh, this engine's ready to come apart. And I didn't even have to take it apart. So, yep. Take the starter out, then we're gonna pull the transmission off, which is all 17s. So all around there, there's 17s. So we'll go ahead and damn that clutch is spanked. take this apart but no shifters gotta get in the way just kidding all right so we're gonna go ahead and get all the bolts kind of be flipping the engine around and stuff but we're gonna get the transmission off and update you guys then all right guys so we got all the bolts off the transmission i'm gonna try and pull it off and hope i don't kill myself let's try to pull this trans off I don't know what's off of it, but never know. Never know with Hondas. They like to hide them bolts every now and again. And there she blows. And she's dirty. We're gonna clean all this up. Definitely probably gonna we're gonna replace all this shit. The seals, all of it. So we're just gonna move this out to the clay. Move a little baby turbski, battery, sandpaper, move everything. Ah! And we're gonna set this little baby right here. Little something. Baby. Right on there. Sell now. Look how dirty this place looks. Yeah, that's dirty. Um, I'm gonna pull the head off now. So, and you can see down in here, the, um, the, the ARPs, like I said, they're 12.14 uh, mil. So I'm gonna see if I have one. If not, we're gonna run up to the parts store and grab one. I'm gonna come back and take this off. I gotta pull the timing cover off so we can get 
time belts off to pull the head off. So, 10 mil in here, 10 mil here, and I think that's it. I'm not sure, it's been a while since I've taken this engine apart. But, yeah, I'm gonna look for a 14, 12 point. If not, we'll go pick one up. All right, guys, so got a 14 point here. Go ahead and try and break them all loose. See how strong I am, how much the engine's about to move. And ready, Sesta, go! Ah. Yeah, boy. And these babies were torqued down. Oh, the whole stud is came loose. I don't like that. I have to look into that. But I believe these were torqued down to 90 or 100 foot pounds of torque. So, whatever. I'm just going to be in my way. I don't like that. And then, set. Go, 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 go. Oh my goodness gracious. Loosen that one already. When you take these off, make sure they don't fall down because they'll fall into the oil galleys or stuff. And you'll clog up the engine, the block, where they end. That won't be good. So there's the nut and there's a washer. So you can try and leave the washer on there when you pull the heads off. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the power steering pulley off and then go from there. Cause this gotta come off before we get the head off. And you gotta pull this off in the time belt. All right, we're gonna get everything situated to where we need it to get the head off and we'll be back. So we got all this off this front end, the engine. I'm gonna pull this cam here off so we pop the time belt off. And hopefully at that point we can go ahead and pull the head off of it and see what's going on. Um, eventually, I want to go ahead and <clears throat> the F23 that's at the house get it off of that stand or buy another stand. I don't know, they're pretty cheap. You get to clutch somebody off this and put this on a stand so we can drop the pan and check the bearings and everything in it again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I don't know if I already said it, but we're going to do this engine. Um, I might transfer stuff from this block to the other block just because the other block's plainer and painted already. And this has a couple broken bolts like right here. There's a broken bolt, broken stud here. Um, a lot of the valve cover where the go in is stripped out. This one's completely welded shut and we had a tab welded on the back. So there's just a lot more work needed for this block and where the axle bolts on for the half shaft in the back, there's three studs that are broken. This one's broken in there and one of these only goes in halfway and stuff. So, and yeah, it's real loose in there. This bolt right here is stripped out. So the other one's not. So we'll probably transfer a lot of this stuff to the other block when we get the new bearings and stuff. Because I want to see the potential in the F23. Um, a lot of people H swap these cars and do the F20Bs and I'm all for that. I love H series, they're amazing engines, they're great engines. And F20Bs, I can't say anything good or bad about them, I've never owned one. But we will. CDG will have one in this support. But I already started working on this. I got all the turbo stuff for this. If I do F20, I got to get another manifold made and do a lot of other stuff. When I have this here, all I'm going to do to it is throw some new gas, new gaskets on it, new bearings in it, stuff like that. We're going to pour the intake out. We're going to, um, the other head, you saw we dropped out from the machine shop. They're going to go through that head. We're going to pour match the heads on that. Then we're going to pour the intake manifold to match it. And under here, I'll show you guys in a different video what you guys do to open those cylinders and you walk off the plate in there. Um, we're gonna upgrade the turbo because that turbo over there is going on, that turbo over there is gonna go on the, the 
new builds for the channel that you guys will be seeing soon. Hey! That you guys will see soon. Um, we're gonna boost the engine that's in it right now, and when that eventually blows up, because it's gonna blow, we all know it will. We'll do the JZ. Um, not sure we're gonna build this JZ for that, or we're just gonna buy like a 1J non-BBTI engine and throw a big turbo in it and call it a day. So we'll see, but we're getting on too much talking, not enough working. So, pop this cam gear off, like this. There's an easier way to do this, but this is the way I'm doing it. Because I don't want to lose a finger, and there's tension on this. So. Bada bing, bada boom. Ready to go. No, that should be able to come off. Let's see. No, it's not. But it's fucking good. All right, guys, there's two tens right in here then that go to the head that I need to take off. I'm gonna take these off and we'll be back when we're gonna pull the head off. All right guys, so there was those two bolts over there I forgot and on the back was the... Right here, there's a bolt that I forgot as well. So I got that off. That should possibly come off. We shall see. One, oh God, oh God. Woo, it's almost there guys, but I'm weak. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. What's going on? We'll have a technical difficulties here, guys. Um, let me get the head off, and then I'll show you guys how I'm lifting the heads off. All right, guys. So we got the head gasket off. I gasket the head off. I'm excited. Not really. This shit hurts. Um, but as you can see here, there's. It looks like it had blow through right here with the head. The head gasket right there. Um, starting a little bit over here, and then there's some milk, like gunky, nasty stuff. So, yeah. Let's see underneath the head gasket. Oh my gosh! seen better days. Ew. You guys can see all that inside the cylinders? That's nasty. So. This is don't look too bad. It's a little dirty. But they, they're gonna do the thing. So yeah. Um I don't know what else I'm gonna do. This came off. That should be in there. Um, yeah. I'm gonna call that that other machine shop that I was talking about for the crank. See if they charge to do that. And I'll update you guys on that. I'm gonna clean up. Go we'll get some food. Cause every video we gotta talk about food in. And it's Florida, so it's hot. So I'm gonna go get me a power raid. And you know, I love my power raid. So we get cleaned up. Get some food in this fat belly. This guy does not need a beer. He don't drink anymore. But I drink Powerade. We gonna get her done. All right, guys. So back. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the AC compressor off and pull the clutch and everything off of it, so we can get to the remain seal because we're gonna replace that. Um. Yeah. So everything in, this, in here looks good. Um, I do want to get it up in the air. Um, later on, I'm gonna get a engine stand so we can pull the pan and get on there and replace all the bearings in it. Um, the head looks good. Only thing I'm gonna do on the head, I think I'm gonna do, is um, actually nothing, because this head ain't gonna be used. I'm just gonna pull the turbo manifold off and the intake manifold off. I'm gonna use that and all the accessories on the new head. Um, <clears throat> and we're gonna port the intake manifold as well. So, and then we're gonna clean everything real good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this off and the clutch off. All right guys, so <clears throat> here's the flywheel. Um, I'll grab my phone to give you some light. As you all can see, some heat spots on that. Especially right in here, see that? That's metal to metal. And that is from, where's it at? Right here. As you can see on there, there's a chunk of the clutch missing. 
This is bad. This place is real bad. Let's flip it around. It's pretty much spent. This place is pretty much worn out. Um, this was a stage three clutch. So it was an expensive clutch too. There's the flywheel. I mean the pressure plate. It's all right there. So definitely gonna be replacing this because this is no good. It's a no rental. So I'm gonna run up to the parts store because I need a 17 12 point to get the pressure or the flywheel off. So let's get it. But I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here because I'm, you know, I'm just taking the flywheel off. So we tore apart this, the F23. We know what we need, kind of. Um, regardless, I'm replacing the bearings in it. So I'm ordering a new set of king bearings for it, and we're gonna. I'm gonna see if I'm about a clutch. Uh, and because I believe this was a action clutch, I think that's what it was. So it's a pretty expensive clutch. Um, so I'm gonna get a price for a clutch bearings. Um, I'm gonna do the timing belt, water pump stuff again, um, and all the gaskets and everything for it. <clears throat> so that'll be pretty much it for this one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification button so y'all get notified when we post. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Also, comment below if you guys are, you know, enjoying the content. If you guys are, who out there is happy that we're going to do that 23 again in the car? And turn it up. Make it a little better than it was. I'm stoked on it because people sleep on the F23s. We're still going to do an F20, like I said. But I want to see what we can get out of this F20, or the F23 until it sees it rot out the block. So, smash that like button. We're going to get this shit right. Peace.